Hello, Barry Anderson from Trade Ideas with today's edition of What Makes This Trade Great? I want to point this one out, this uh, MINM, okay? We saw this one in the pre-market, and as we speak, this stock is still up 608%, okay, as we speak. Let's take a look at the pre-market. Um, having, a, You can see, I mean, it started, it was a, like, probably it was even under a dollar. The first thing I noticed, though, this morning when I saw this in the pre-market, I could not find any news about it, okay, which said, okay, this is look like something has just kind of been grabbed a hold of by maybe some group somewhere in the world, and now everybody is looking for the next low float mini, as I call it, stock, like VVOS yesterday. The big difference for me between this one, M-I-N-M, and VVOS yesterday is that at least VVOS had some news. I mean, they had some kind of an FDA approval with a sleep apnea device. Whether that stock should have gone from 4 to $50, that's irrelevant. At least there was some news. You put FDA approval in a headline, and that's probably going to get people interested almost all day long. Big difference for this one. I, I still cannot find any news on this one, other than the fact that, you know, it's a very low float, but a million in the float, I think, even less. And I think that's the reason, you know, people were looking who didn't uh, take part in VVOS yesterday. They're looking for a, some kind of a low floater today to take, to take a look at. And this was the one. So I think that, you know, for the low floaters to really have that amazing, amazing run. And listen, this is still up 615%. Probably has to have a little bit of news behind it. The news doesn't have to be that, that great. Just some, some kind of a head, uh, like a, an eye-catching headline. And that can probably keep it uh, moving for a good uh, part of the day, as opposed to having these big pullbacks. Okay, guys, want to get back into the room. Have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow.